Hi. So this video, this is the second video I created. This video is mainly for the students who are using the PPR's office instead of Excel to solve the questions. Same thing, in this video, I will focus on how to create the pie chart to show the total distance as well as the total cost for each destination. Okay, so um, to, create the, to create the pie chart using WPS Office is actually similar to what we have in Excel. So what we have, what you have to do is actually open your file using the BPS and first select the destination you would like to include in the pie chart. Second thing is you need to select the total distance needed. So press down the control key on your keyboard, select cell D3 to D7, this is the total distance. Then go to the insert tab on the ribbon for WPS then choose the pie chart so in this case we're going to choose the 2d pie chart so click on the pie chart so you have the pie chart being generated so the next thing we need is we need to include the total cost so to include the total cost all we have to do is we include the data label so check the checkbox for data label then go to the options button choose more option so at this point at this moment, what you have to do is we have to include the second value, the second information, which is the total cost. So check the check box for value from cell. So we're going to include the total cost by selecting cell F3 to F7 in your data label range. So check, check, click the button for OK. So you will have two information being included. First is the total cost. Second thing is your total distance. So the same thing we're going to do for the in WPS, we're going to make it into separate line because the question required us to actually put in the text in separate line and positions the label at the outside end of the pie chart. So what you have to do is go to the separator. This is the information where these are the things where we're going to separate the information. So select the separator. Select the separator. Instead of choosing comma, we go to new line. So both of the information will be separated in two different lines. Then choose the label positions. We choose for outside end. So the data will be displayed outside the sector of each data. So the final steps you have to do is you have to actually name the chart properly. So the user will understand or the reader will understand what are the chart actually presenting. So in this case, we can write it total cost and distance per destination. So this is what you can actually draw for your chart. Then please remember to position your chart properly, rearrange them so that you are able to show the pie chart at the same time the bar chart you created in question number 7. So this is what you have to complete for your task 2. Then save your work, save your work and submit your work to Blackboard. So that's all for the video. Thank you very much.